Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this homepage over here using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, we created this about section of our website. Now in this video, we will create this services section and I will also try to create this section over here. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in the source code of our website and let's go to the HTML file and let's go outside our about section and let's add a comment. I'll just type end of about section. Right now let's go ahead and create a section with an ID of services and let's create a container division for the max width and in that we need to have this heading so let's copy this and let's create an h2 and let's paste it over here. And then we need to copy this uh, paragraph and uh, let's create a p tag and let's paste the text over here. Now here we can see that for our heading and paragraph we have a max width which is much smaller than the container. So let's add the heading and the paragraph inside its own container. So let's create a heading container over here and let's add the paragraph and the heading inside this. Right now we need to create these services. So let's create a division for that. Let's go outside the heading container and let's create a division of the class of services container. And in that we need to have the service. And in the service we need to have the image at the top. So let's create an IMG tag and let's type images forward slash service1.jpg. And then we need to have an S3 and this paragraph. So let's add both of this inside a division so that we can add some padding for these two elements. So let's create a division with the class of content and let's create an S3. Let's copy this text and let's paste it over here. Let's create a paragraph and let's copy this text and let's paste it over here. Now let's go ahead and copy this service and uh, let's paste it down here two more times. So for the second service, let's go ahead and change the image to service2.jpg and let's copy this text and let's paste it for the heading. And let's copy this text and paste it for the paragraph. Let's do the same for the last service. Let's copy this and paste it for the heading. And we need to change the image to service3.jpg. Let's copy this paragraph and let's paste it over here. So with that we have created all the services in our HTML. So let's go to our website and this is how it looks right now. Now let's go ahead and style this. So let's go to our CSS file and let's go ahead and create a comment called services section. And first of all, let's target the heading container in which we have the heading and this subheading. So let's type section heading container and let's set a max width of 500 pixels and uh, let's text align it to the center. Let's also add a margin bottom of 60 pixels and we need to bring it to the center so let's type margin inline which is margin left and right and let's set it to auto right now let's go ahead and display all these services one next to the other so we will be using display of grid for that so let's type services container and here you can see we have this division with the class of services container and in that we have all these services so let's set the display to grid and grid template columns to repeat auto fit and let's add a min max of 320 pixels and one fr now what this will do is it will display all these features one next to the other and when the width can no longer be 320 pixels it will drop to the next row so here we can see this is how it looks right now let's go ahead and add some gap so let's add a gap of 40 pixels now let's go ahead and add some box shadow so let's type services container service box shadow and let's set the value to 0 6 pixels 40 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.1 and we need to add some padding for this content so let's type services container content and let's add a padding of 16 pixels and now when you hover over this we need to have this hover effect so for that let's go ahead and uh, type services container service colon hover and let's set the transform value to scale 
of 1.04 and we'll also change the box shadow to 0, 3 pixels, 80 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.1 and let's add a smooth transition so I'll just type transition of all 300 milliseconds is and here we can see we have this horror effect. So with that we have designed our services section. Now let's also design this uh, why choose us section over here. It is almost the same as this about section. We just need to flip the image on the left side and this content on the right side. So for that let's go ahead and copy the HTML of the about section. So this is the about section. I just copy this and let's scroll down and here I'll just create a comment. I just type end of services section and let's paste the about section over here and here let's type end of why choose us section and let's scroll up and make the necessary changes first of all we'll change the id to y and let's go back to our demo website and let's copy this heading let's paste it over here and uh, let's copy this paragraph let's paste it over here and uh, we have these two different sections over here let's copy this heading and let's paste it for this heading and let's copy this paragraph and let's paste it over here and let's copy this heading and paste it over here and lastly we have this paragraph and let's paste it over here now for the button we need to type contact us now this is a different kind of button we have this uh, light background for this button and we have this horror effect so for that we will add a class called light and I think we haven't styled it so we'll also style it so the next thing we need to do is we need to bring this image on the left side and the content on the right side so let's copy this division let's cut this division from here and let's paste it about the left section and let's change this to left let's change this to right and now let's change the image to image 2.png and now if you go back to our website this is how it looks now let's go ahead and style this using CSS so let's go back to our CSS file and let's create a comment I'll just have Y section and first of all let's set the content to one next to the other so here we can see we have this section and in that we have this container division so let's type y container let's set the display to flex and let's add a gap of 60 pixels and let's align items to the center now everything is looking almost like we want we just need to change the background color so let's go back and uh, let's type y let's change the background color to var accent color and let's change the color of all the text to var light color and we need to change the color of this heading as well so for that if we go back to our h2 here we can see that we have added this background of linear gradient and we have this background clip set to text so that we have this gradient color for our text so I'll just copy this and i'll just paste it over here and let's change the selector to hash y h2 so it will just target the h2 inside the y section let's delete all of this and let's change the background color to var light color and now if you go back here we can see that the text has the correct color now we also need to change the color of the icon so right now the color of the icon is the same as this background so it is not being displayed right now so for changing the color we will use a property called filter so let's tap hash y icon and let's tap filter and let's set the brightness to 0 and invert to 1 so this will change the color to white All right now the last thing we need to do is we need to change the style of the button so let's go to the top and let's go to the styles where we have style all the buttons so here let's go ahead and add a new button style called button light because we have added a class of light for the button and for the button light we need to have the background set to var light color and we need to set the color to var dark color and we need to set the border to 2 pixels solid var light color 
And now if we go back here, we can see that we have the button being displayed correctly. Now let's add the hover effect. So let's tap button dot light colon hover. And when we hover over the button, we need to type background. And we need to set the background color to accent color. And we need to set the color of the text to light color. And this is how the button looks. We also have the hover effect. So everything is working all right. So that's basically it with this video. We have designed the services section and also the why choose us section. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.